And Mr. President, I also rise today to talk for a minute about an Arizona original, former senator and presidential candidate Barry Goldwater. Senator Goldwater was no stranger to this Senate floor, having served five terms in this body and having been his party's presidential nominee in 1964. By the end of his time here, Goldwater was an elder statesman, the go-to guy on national security, having chaired the Armed Services and Intelligence Committees and having reorganized the Pentagon structure with the Goldwater-Nichols Act. He was also respected for his unapologetic fiscal conservatism. Goldwater was probably best known for his staunch defense of personal liberty and for reviving and redefining what it means to be conservative. While he may have lost the election in 1964 to Lyndon Johnson, he laid the groundwork for the Republican Party's future and the eventual resurgence under Ronald Reagan. As columnist George Will noted, it took 16 years to count the votes from 1964, and Goldwater won. For many of us, he was a role model. Before I came to Congress, I was honored to serve as the executive director of the Goldwater Institute, an Arizona organization that bears his name and his philosophy. Born before Arizona was even a state, Goldwater, like so many great men, he honed his passion and interest in the non-political world around him. He was an avid, an avid and published photographer. In fact, Goldwater's estate contains some 15,000 photographs, many of them of Arizona landscapes and the people he loved so much. He also occasionally took his camera to social events, once even snapping President Kennedy at the White House. Kennedy inscribed a photo, uh, the photo, for Barry Goldwater, whom I urge to follow the career for which he has shown such talent, photography. But in addition to being a conservative warrior, Goldwater was an actual warrior, having flown supply missions over the hump in World War II and retiring as a major, major general in the U.S. Air Force Reserve. He believed in peace through strength. Barry Goldwater was plain spoken. He was stubborn. He was patriotic. He was independent. In short, he embodied the very spirit of Arizona. And tomorrow, at long last, Barry Goldwater will be honored with a statue here on Capitol, at Capitol Hill, representing his beloved Arizona. Goldwater may have once described himself as the most underdog underdog there is, but I, can think, I can't think of a more deserving recipient nor of a fitting, more fitting representative of our state. Well done, Barry Goldwater. I yield back.